try to make my hole right there. So now this is from the inside of the car above the gas pedal and this is where the wires come in from the wiring harness and there's a little gap there where the inside of that boot is that's what I'm going to tap my drill into and hopefully poke the wire through there. Now I have about a half an inch gap between the wires and this end of the boot. So I'm only just going to poke a hole about a quarter of an inch to, that's all you really need. Now this is the part where I'm pushing the wire from the switch on the inside of the car to the rubber uh, boot and I use the hard wire, I use black tape and it takes a little massage in to get this through the boot but it's possible it has a tight seal on the wire so I'm not worried about water or, uh, or engine uh, air coming into the compartment through this hole. So the wiring harness came with all the connectors to hook up these lights so now I'm connecting the connectors to the lights, get ready to run the cable from the relay through the grill to the lights. This is the view of the button I installed through the rubber boot, ran the wire underneath the steering column, but right there. The only problem that's a constant red light. Um, hope it doesn't give me issues with uh, drawing on my battery. Press it, turns green, lights come on, and that's off. So, nothing permanent, nothing crazy. Let's open up the, the hood here. Okay, basically how I did my wiring. I went and drilled through the boot here. I snaked the wire through because this big connector doesn't is gonna go through the firewall. So you actually have to cut. You see where I put the black tape there, it's three wires. I cut, connected them um, after I ran the wire through the boot. I ran this wire to the switch from inside the car, around here, down through here, behind the fuse box, down beneath the fuse box, and here, under here is the, where the relay goes. The power cable to the battery goes under here, up under, attached to the screw right here. This cover fits right on top conceals it. Then over here, that's where I put my ground, took out that existing bolt, scraped a little of the paint off the metal so it can make good contact with the ground, reinstalled the bolt, and that's that. So the lights, wire, I snaked it down through there, snaked it down by the radiator with that red shot going down. Now there's two um, holes in the body that go down to the radiator. Uh, there's an oval on top and a round one on the bottom. I It was easier to put the connectors through the oval one because it gave you more room to work with. So that's why I went with it. So the wires come out that hole, out into the grill area, and then they're connected to the lamp. Um, these are the lights. I like the look. There's 
with the wires going into the body. These are the fog lamps only. Um, and now these are the headlights. And those are the headlights without the stock fog lights. And now these are the headlights along with the stock fog lights. And now these are oval lights. Headlights stock fog lights so let's take a look at just the fog lights or the new LED driving lamps now that's the headlights mixed in and that's it off